Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of MMA Breakdown UFC 152. Um, you had Joseph Benavides uh, lose in that fight. I don't know why people were booing in that fight. There's no point to boo. And then you had the um, Michael Bisping fight. Like I said, it like it was, Michael Bisping's gonna win this fight all day, every day. And a lot of people were saying, no, Michael Bisping's gonna straight up lose because. Uh, Brian Sand is a heavy-handed striker. He's going to land one of those heavy-handed strikes. It's boom, boom, and Michael Bisming's out. And that didn't happen. Michael Bisming uh, truly won this fight. And truly um, is going to be, uh, hopefully, the number one contender. And I think he honestly can give uh, Anderson Silva a run for his money. He has the skill set. He has the uh, overall uh, skills. He's a beast. Hi, really? Come on, guys. Um, <clears throat> just got done watching the UFC 152, the main event. I cannot understand why Beltford kept going for the fucking um, guard. He kept trying to get to the guard, and I think he was trying to just submit uh, John Jones because John Jones in the beginning got almost submitted with the armbar. It doesn't make any complete sense to me whatsoever. He's had like five title defenses and ran through everybody. The only guy that's ever came close was Leota Machida. And I don't really know what the game plan was for uh, Vitor. I honestly wanted Vitor to win. I want everybody to win because I think John Jones is that cocky dude. But he's cocky and he backs his uh, talk up. But... To be honest, guys, I don't know why he, Vitor just went for the ground game. He was strike. He would get there in a striking battle and then pull guard. I really think, to be honest, he was trying to pull off a phenomenal armbar or phenomenal like submission and get John Jones cut. But he he he. It's just weird to me that all these fighters who fight like Anderson Silva or they fight uh, John Jones. They they're kind of like intimidated. They don't they're not exploding like they would when they fought somebody else. Like if B Vitor was fighting, let's say uh, Rich Franklin, he'd be more explosive. Is it the long reach of John Jones that intimidates people, or is it the fact that John Jones throws these weird kicks, knees, elbows, and he doesn't give a fuck? He just throws them. And he threw, he, he's unpredictable. No fighter out there throws and fights like John Jones. But I don't know who's who's next for John Jones. You had Rashad Evans. You had Machida. You even had um, a lot of top dudes fought him. And they get beat down. You're going to have to have somebody like an Anderson Silva seriously give this dude a challenge. I thought Vitor was going to give him an okay challenge. I really did. But... I don't know, man. But with that said, thanks for watching UFC um, 152 Breakdown. And like I said, guys, links in the comments section for the full fight. So uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. But like I said, I'm very disappointed. I, I never liked John Jones, but I guess you can't count John out.